it's Greg, and it's time for another tunnel take. Yeah, hey, um, I've been watching Miguel, uh, Sailor and Piper Man. Uh, now he's been, uh, uh, running down some of them, uh, uh, cherry blend tobacco rabbit holes. <laughs> and it's been fun watching him do it. Um, so I figured I'd pull out some cherry tobacco that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three tobaccos, three pipes. I'm loading them all up, keeping account of what tobaccos in it, what pipe. And I'm going to give you a kind of a review of these different tobaccos, which is the better one and all. This is about the only way for me to really compare a tobacco. If I, if I smoke a tobacco yesterday and I smoke it smoke something different today I can't quite remember all the nuances of the tobacco that I smoked yesterday to compare them very well and when you get two pipes going at one time that's the way to get a real comparison there's no question about it to me I mean it really worked for me so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you I got um Old Shenandoah Drunken Cherry. Old Shenandoah Drunken Cherry. I think I, I think I got this from the Ohio Pipe Show, I believe. I'm not sure. It cost me 10 bucks anyway. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and this is, here's, here's a, another cherry blend. Somewhat of a cherry blend from what I understand. Um, uh, I think I've had this before. Colt Blood Red Moon. This hasn't been opened though. I think I've had it before. I had a sample sent to me or something one time, but I don't remember quite. I, I remember not being overly impressed about it uh, as far as a cherry blend goes. But um, I must have got it got it at, a, at, one, at the Ohio Pipe Show also or the, uh, or the Richmond Show. It was $10 too. And um, Colt Blood Red Moon. Now, for, for years, I, I resisted buying this stuff. I don't know. It seems sacrilegious to have a cult <laughs> around you, you know. But uh, you know, uh, uh, Miguel was talking about how he he doesn't like to uh, smoke uh, estate pipes because it just seems not right to him to smoke a dead person's pipe. And I was like, "What's that about?" And then I was I got thinking, "Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to buy Colt Red Moon, Blood Red Moon, and have that hanging around me." But anyway, you know, so after, you got to get over some superstitions that you have and that sort of thing at some point in your life. You know, you got to put things in in perspective. You know, but anyway, I'm gonna try this, and um, and this here is some Emerson Berry Cherry. Now it is a, if it's not the exact same thing as Laneberry Cherry, it is so close I can't tell the difference. I'm big fans of both of them because they are so much alike. You know, like I say, the last batch of Laneberry Cherry I got bit hard. Oh, it bit hard. And um, the first batch I got two pounds. It was awesome. No bite whatsoever. I don't know what they did in that second batch, uh, which was about two or three years ago I bought it. And um, maybe two years ago. And uh, and I was hearing somebody do a review not too long ago. They had bought some in bulk. And it didn't bite them at all. I was like, okay, now it's time for me to reorder that stuff again. Because maybe that last batch that was bad got sold out and uh, probably <laughs> left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths about tongue bite and aromatics you know anyway uh, and maybe uh, this, this next uh, bulk buy that stuff I get uh, will will be uh, non bitey tongue burn tongue bite whatever you want to call it anyway so I'm going to load these three up uh, into the, the Emerson Berry Cherry I'm going to load it into this pipe here now this is it's like the pipe has been steel brushed you know, you know, you got a steel brush on a wheel, and you take your pipe and just hold it right to it and just rake it down through it like that. That's what it looks like to me. This is a pipe that Zach got me for this Christmas. And then the Colt Blood Red Moon, I'm going to have it in. In my, um, 
Mr. Brog pear wood chimney. <laughs> Guess why it's called a chimney? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. Um, this pear wood burns. It gets hot, y'all. I don't know what it is. It must be overly dense or something, or or not dense enough. I don't know. I don't know what makes heat contract through wood with one wood more than another type of wood. But this thing gets smoking hot. Because I'm not going to puff too hard. And then my um, Boswell pipe I got. Got it from uh, the uh, meetup in uh, uh, the last of last year. Uh, right after Christmas. Meeting up with the guys down there at Boswell's in Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm going to be loading it up with the Shenandoah Drunken Cherry. So I'm, I'll be right back with you and uh, get everything set up here. And I'll probably uh, do my char light and all that stuff and try to get these things going somewhat, you know. I'll have to light it, relight them when I'm, when I'm doing my little test. But, but at least the char light will be done and, and, uh, or the tr true light, whatever. Or the char light, then the true light will be done. And, uh, and, and they will go ahead and light up fairly quickly. See you back here soon. Click. Hey, before I pack all these pipes, I've already packed this pipe with the uh, with the Emerson Fairy Cherry. I mean, it's just huge amounts of cherry. I just opened up the uh, Colt Blood Red Moon, and uh, it's more of a uh, mellowed out Kool Aid cherry kool-aid that you may have you know, have a glass of cherry kool-aid and smell of it and it's not over overly over overpowering like this like this very cherry is but i love it because it's overpowering <laughs> boy i tell you what that's a flavor blast i know for sure this cult blood red moon is a little little mm, subdued anyway let's open up the uh the old shenandoah Hmm. No, Oshando Drunken Cherry. Wow. Ooh. All right. Huh. There it is. This is going down the line. The um, the Emerson Berry Cherry. Compared to the, uh, as far as the tin note goes, compared to the Occult Blood Red Moon, the Occult Blood Red Moon is about half the amount of flavor blast that you smell. The Shenandoah Drunken Cherry is about half the flavor blast, the, the aroma blast that you get from the Occult Blood Red Moon. This stuff doesn't smell much at all. It's aromatic, and that's about. Mm, there's not much cherry on this. I'm having a hard time figuring if it's cherry. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to packing things up and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got them all lit up. Been uh, been smoking some one. This is the Lane, I'm at the uh, Emerson Berry Cherry. Um, this is the Colt Blood Moon Red Moon. Now, this is things, this pipe has been sitting there for about two minutes. And it's still going, there's still smoke coming out of it. It has something to do with the shape, the, the size of the bowl. I mean, you know, the height of the bowl and it's, and the heat that's that uh, that the coal is producing is is pushing hot air up and it's creating that suction through the uh, mouthpiece and and just getting the convection going. It looks like that would happen with every pipe. You know, these other pipes would totally go out within you know 
Ten seconds, yeah. Colt Blood Red Moon. I already got some definite uh, opinions about him, that's for sure. This is Shenandoah Drunken Cherry. Well, one thing for sure about the uh, the Drunken Cherry, uh, it's it is a cherry blend. You can just can't make that out though, and it's not much else. I'm telling you what, yeah. You know. Whatever they did it is tobacco even killed the tobacco flavor, yeah. You know. Most of the time I can I can get a sense of and most of the time it's burly, I can get a sense of what the base tobacco was that they that they uh flavored, you know. But this year. Man. Yeah. There's not much of the of the cherry flavor. The cherry flavor though is the same flavor, but about a quarter of the amount of the uh, Emerson Very Cherry or Lane Very Cherry, which is comparable, you know, about exactly to this here. Um, you want a little bit of cherry? Uh, drunken Cherry, Shen Old Shenandoah, Drunken Cherry. <laughs> that's your, that's your cherry blend right there. If you like just a teeny bit. And not a lot of uh, tobacco flavor. The uh, the the uh, Emerson Berry Cherry. Come on out. Plenty of flavor there. And a room note that is killer. I mean, really. It's this type of tobacco that uh, got me on the cherries a long time ago. I was I was walking into a uh, Lowe's and I smelt this awesome smell. I knew it was a pipe tobacco when I first started smoking a pipe. Awesome smell. Go into Lowe's and I knew, I knew, thought to myself, I need to get back out there and see see if I find the person that's smoking. It. I want to find out what kind of tobacco that is. There was a guy across the parking lot over there in a in an old beat up truck, and um, I walked over to him. He was on the phone. I was sitting there, sitting there waiting for him. He said, "Hey, can I help you with something?" I said, "Yeah." I said, uh, "I said, what kind of tobacco is that you're smoking?" He said, "Lane Very Cherry." And uh, man, this aroma through the whole parking lot. He was two aisles over. <laughs> it was unreal. Lean berry cherry. You get a, you, the cherry is, oh gosh, I've heard people, two people say they didn't like the cherry pipe tobacco because it, you know, it was like NyQuil cherry, you know. I don't get that with lean berry cherry or Decemberson berry cherry. I get more of a cherry Kool Aid packet. When you just open the packet, you smell the dust. It's that strong. And then the Colt Blood Red Moon. I, see, I don't think this thing's going. No, it's not going now. The Colt Blood Red Moon. There's something different here. It is a. It is. It is as if you're. Tasting a real cherry that you get out of a jar, you know, with a stem on it that's dripping wet, <laughs> and, and you bite into that cherry, it's a whole nother cherry other than the Kool-Aid flavored cherries that you that, that you think of. You know, it's never as if this here was this here has some cherry, but it's also got some of the additive flavorings that um uh, Twinkies have. Um 
all those all those uh, uh, pastries that you that you that you smell. Uh, I was an animal trapper for years, and and I and I uh, uh, bought a lot of flavorings and stuff like that to make trapping lures and stuff that sort of thing. And uh, and there's there's a half a hint of some of those some of those flavor. I forget the names of 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 the of those flavorings that you can buy, and they're edible stuff, you know. And uh, that that uh, these corporations are uh, these uh, Twinkie factories and all the stuff you know that are adding adding to the um, to the bread that they're to the cake batter you know to give it that that much more flavor. And, the cult blood red moon is a different cherry. Uh, uh, tobacco. There's no question about it. It's a whole nother animal. I don't know how I got such a bad impression of this stuff. I got a sample years ago and I was like, man, that just didn't do anything for me. Of course, you know, uh, sometimes your taste buds are changed from one day to the next, you know. But having all these lined up and smoking them like this, the, the memory of these tobaccos are fresh on your mind, you know. Wow. The cult blood red moon, when you get it in your nose, and you push it back out of your nose. Let me let me retrohale this. Now, I'm not much of a retrohaler, so excuse me if I cough and gag. Hills, mellow. It's it's not. I'm not getting that massive, fresh, cherry flavor that I do by just smoking it, and then breathing out of my mouth or or tasting my my breath. You know, it's it's really it's really pleasant. Hard to put my finger on, but it is it is this good stuff. I must say. The old Shenandoah, though, y'all, ain't hitting on much. I mean, as far as cherry, uh, for for a person like me that loves cherry flavoring. You know, you know, um, if I didn't have these other tobaccos, this, this tobacco would, would be pretty good tobacco, yeah, really. Compared to the old codger blends and all, this, this would beat them. It really would, you know. But compared to these these others over here, that are uh, that much more flavoring added, or, or however that works, uh, this this don't hold card to the other guys over here. So there you go. That's my review. The Colt Blood Red Moon has a nice, nice cherry uh, flavor. Uh, the uh, the Emerson Very Cherry or the Lane Very Cherry that 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 those Very Cherries are just massive flavor blast and I do like them there's no question about it. I do like that uh, but that Colt Blood Red Moon pleasantly surprised me with, with with the flavor of it that 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 was a that was a different cherry there that was a different cherry flavor that I've than, than all the other cherry flavors I've tried really. That was impressive. I guess it's. I guess the cult has got me. <laughs> I guess.
guess I'm a follower. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good night. I'll see you. Bye.